pass or fail, you decide. is this Fido Pork Coffee Tin. Um, I got this on Marketplace from a nice little co uh, couple. Um, it was actually in the skip, so hopefully I can retrieve this and see what I can do with it. Now, what I'll do first of all, give it a good clean, sand it down, see what i got to work with, and uh, got a couple of ideas on, on what to do, and Let's see how it goes. So first of all, let's give it a good clean, uh, and then I will sand it down. Tango, I've seen these people on YouTube do this, so we'll go times two speed, and we shall listen to some music. Right. So like I said, this is my first video, so hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below to see what you would do, because this isn't a how-to video, because I'll see if I can do it first, and then let's see how we get on. I've got it fairly clean. Uh, all I used was a bit of, bit of soap, bit of bicarbonate soda, just to make it clean. So when I do the um, sand and that, then um, I won't get age-old dust and that. Uh, so I'm gonna breathe that in. Okay, so uh, now that it's fairly clean, now I'll start and uh, get in. What I noticed with this laminate kind of piece in, I'll just take all that off and uh, sand it down and see we go from there. So, without further ado, I'll go and get me sander and start on that one. Great start. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do now is this. Try and get rid of that and now let's see what we've got. Now, I forgot my dust uh, mask, so I've got my internal mask. Um, I need to go and get a proper one, so leave a comment down below to see what kind of mask that you wear. Right, let's get to it. Again, times two. Hope you like the music. <laughs> Anybody know how to get rid of that stuff? Leave a comment down below. This is a nightmare. Going to try using a sander. Sander didn't work, back to this.
if you know of any way to do this easier than what I'm doing it, leave a comment down below. Help brother out. I'm going to go and see if I can find a hammer. Found one. Hammer and the wallpaper scraper seems to be doing a little bit better. I'll do the rest off camera and I'll show you the ending result. It'll probably be tomorrow. So, see you later. Well, so after uh, several bashings of the hammer, this is what happened. It disintegrated, so I throw that away. And uh, so I've got myself another one. And uh, hopefully this one will last. So I got this tip from a ray of sunlight, Natalie, where you wet a towel uh, with warm water, leave it for an hour, and then start with the iron. Just uh, leave it on there for about 30 seconds. And what that does is it softens the glue. And I was a bit... A bit rushed in the beginning I thought oh if I move it about a bit it'll be all right but then look at that it came off and it comes up really quickly so all of this work that I did prior was just work that I didn't really need to do but thanks to Natalie it was coming off quite handy so leave it on for about 30 seconds to really soften the glue and then you can you can just peel it off this is a big help from Natalie so I'll link the description down in the in the description box down below um, and as you can see it just flies off and what I'm doing with the wallpaper scraper is that I'm lining up knowing where I need to keep the iron uh, so that I'm not just going on the bare wood. And you can see it just peels off nicely. It took me an hour and a half to do that poxy thing last time with the uh, wallpaper scraper. And I got rid of all of this in approximately 15 minutes. And now it's time for sanding. I have a palm sander with a hand of grit, which I quickly realized the best grit for taking the paint off the wood. Uh, I should have gone for a, a 60 or a 40. I realised there was quite a few different colours and I came across a yellow, a red and a white. Uh, so there was hard work to do with this one. I kept the trim so that hopefully when I paint that in a certain colour difference inside then it will pop just a little bit more. And now I have my uh, with a hundred grit on that one, and I realised again it doesn't do much. Uh, I'm just going over it and over it, and I'm not getting very far. Uh, so I found that I had a forty grit. So when I started with the forty grit, it really does come off a lot quicker. So I'll be doing that for next time, uh, as you'll be able to see now. The, the paint came off, and considering it was a 40 grit, it was still pretty smooth, the legs. So, uh, once I finish with all this, I'll maybe do a 120 grit, just to 
smooth it out that little bit more before I apply some new paint to it, which I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So we'll soon find out. Um, but the, the overall wood isn't that great to be honest with you, so I will have to paint it. sanding sheets so I need to nip off and get one of them but this video has taken a lot longer than I thought it was so I need to learn how to do it so uh, we'll call it a day in that one and we'll make this video a two-partner so what I'm thinking about doing with this one is painting it black maybe the, the rims here like a grey silvery colour with um, a, fl a floral type of decoupage on the top. Um, hopefully we'll blend all that in together. So that's my idea about today. So the black legs, because they have to be painted, I can't keep them um, like wood because it's, well, it's, it doesn't look very nice to be honest with you. So we'll paint them black, um, black top, silver edges, Possibly down here as well on the trim. A floral decoupage on the top in the black background. What do you think about that? Comment down below and tell me what you think. Give me some ideas of what you would do. I don't know what I'm going to do at the moment, that's just my idea. So I'll need to go and get some sanding sheets and uh, get the proper paint for them. I'll get some nice chalky paint and uh, some decoupage, stick it on top, lacquer it all up or wax it afterwards and then off we go and we'll see how it is. So this is the first part of a two-parter. Um, so if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel, like this video and Ring that bell for more notifications on the next videos for your entertainment and my education. And always remember, recycle, reuse, upcycle.